This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got two ladies from our Smith Falls Legion with me today. Jean Lazenby, you're back. You've been here before. Yes. And Helen Wilkinson, welcome to FYI. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. You've had a busy couple of years during COVID helping people out in the community. We're here to talk about quite a few things that are going on in the Legion, but specifically these lunches you've been putting on for two years. Do you want to start talking about that? Yeah, we started August 31st, 2020, doing the lunches, and we stopped for two months. And then today to total, we've done 21, 000, over 21,000 lunches. Um, we do it every Monday. We started out doing it Monday and Thursday, and now it's dropped back to Monday. And when they come, they get a bag lunch and a frozen food um, dinner. And the bag lunches consist of sandwich, drink and dessert and then in the winter time we normally put in soup okay now this this started a few years ago right when covid yes started? it started in 2020 that's when right. everything was shut down that's right and you were working alongside uh, rito community health services yes yeah, we the, were yeah yeah helping them out because there's a need in town mm -hmm. especially during covid uh people lost their jobs and people were in, in hard ways you know so mm -hmm. uh getting a lunch from from the legion was it's so helpful to so many families and, and the young ones too. Mm -hmm. And I, I love the story. Maybe, maybe Jean, you can tell the story about uh, the gentleman that came and picked up lunches. Only twice that I, when I was there helping, I, well, I'm there every Monday, but I was helping and we have to take off their names. One dad came in and all he asked for was two lunches and he took them to the school to his two children. Amazing. Um, yeah, it yes, is. That, yeah, and it's so selfless too. He didn't pick one for himself. He no. got them for his children. Yeah, there there was such a need back back then too. And I mean, there still is. Mm -hmm. There still is. The numbers are lower now. You don't have as many people. We have a lot of seniors that come. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. For sure. So that's Mondays you do this. So let's talk yeah. about what does the kitchen look like at the Legion on Mondays. <laughs> well, there's usually four to five ladies come in, and it's a great bunch of ladies. And they all pitch in, and each one has a specific job to do. And we make the sandwiches. And um, then we form an assembly line and um, bag the lunches up for the community. And then Brenda, I'm not sure of her last name, she comes with her husband, and she takes the deliveries. And then we go out in the front part of the Legion and, and distribute the bags. The people come to pick up the bags, and they also get the frozen dinner, too. And you know, the, the, when you were saying distribute, you, you deliver a lot of the meals. Yeah, Brenda and her husband are the ones that deliver. And they come around 11 o'clock and, and make up their delivery orders. And then we take the rest and hand out at the door. Well, it's a small team, but you're a well-oiled machine for sure. Because I w drove by yesterday and you guys had a system going on. It, it was amazing. Just uh, And one thing I found, like during pandemic, nobody could go anywhere and we could get together because we had to social distance and everything but we got out of our <coughs> apartments and had a social time while we were doing the bag lunches so it helped us as well as them and you know what you can you almost can keep an eye on somebody if you haven't seen somebody come back in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. you, you you think okay i haven't seen them maybe you should check up on them or mm -hmm. i don't know whether the the rito community health services would help you out with that but you miss yeah. some people yeah, they usually, if we haven't had seen somebody in a while, I give them a call and they uh, do a check. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about the food too. You get help getting the food? Yes, we, um, we get the cold meats from um, Garden Market and most of the other stuff, Catroches. And then we get the bread from Giant Tiger. Excellent, excellent. Just a real community thing yeah, too. All you know? community thing. That's right, that's right. So you do the lunches. You were doing them Monday and Thursday? Thursday. Okay, and uh, I mean, are you the only one doing it now? No, the Catholic Church is doing Catholic it? Catholic Church does it on Wednesdays, and I believe the Salvation Army is still doing a hot meal on Fridays. On Fridays, too. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's so helpful to some people. It's just, you know, when you think of, of being hungry, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes we think, oh, I'm hungry, and it's just because I haven't eaten since breakfast, but some people haven't eaten since the day before mm -hmm. or a luncheon that they went to the day before and got some help for their family. Mm -hmm. So it's it's so and needed and see with us they get the two they get the bag lunch and the frozen dinner and the frozen dinner yeah. is made by and the community home support in Perth so I'm they not get sure what the, organization it is but they get a, a lunch that day and they get a supper okay. yeah pretty much yeah oh excellent excellent so so helpful <coughs> so. and it's different things all the time 
It's, it's different, yes. The, yeah, you were saying egg salad and cold meat yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the yeah, dinners that come in are, they, there's quite a variety. There's a, yeah, there's a big variety. Nice. Yeah. That's really nice too. People mm -hmm. deserve a, a good meal, a good uh, warm lunch, a hot lunch, and mm -hmm. and you and you say you're going to switch over to soup. Yeah, we have to get a hold of the table to get their permission, but um, we did soup last winter. That's nice. And then you switch over from a drink to a hot coffee uh -huh. or hot chocolate. Yeah, that's nice because sometimes that's a nice way just to keep warm. Yeah, they anyway. enjoyed the hot chocolate and hot and coffee last winter, oh. and we also did tea every once in a while. And, and part of it too is like you say, it's social. Mm -hmm. People get out and, and they can talk to people. Yeah, a lot of people, we don't start till 11.30 in the morning, but a lot of people are out there at 11 just so they can have a visit with people they haven't seen for a while. Yeah, that's yeah. right, that's right, that's right. So this is a busy time of year too for you, Jean. Yes, yeah, you've for been both involved, of us. For both of us, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Helen, you are the, the president of the Ladies Auxiliary. Yes. And you're the chair of the Poppy campaign. Yes. And Jean, you just do what you're told. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> oh, we throw ideas yeah. back and forth. Yes, and you do. Yes, you, you know. Do. For sure, for sure. You've been very helpful with all the campaigns and everything going on until yes. for a long time. Yes. And you've been president too. You've been past president. Yes. Been past president as well. So. Yes. So it is that time of year. The Poppy campaign is going to be starting soon. It has started. Okay. Helen sent letters out to a lot of businesses and organizations and that in September. Mm -hmm. And the 11th of October, we started on the phones. We've been there every day from 9 to 4 on the phones. And up till now, we have sold around 225 crosses and wreaths. Wow. Smith Falls is a very generous town. It really, really is. I mean, we, we are, you know, so mindful and so respectful of our Remembrance Day. And, and when we are able to get together, it's amazing who comes out. And you really do, you need to block off the bridge because there's so many people at the Cenotaph, plus on the road as well, too. Mm -hmm. And our funds from our poppies is for our vets and some of it for our youth. Like for our youth, there is a bursary program. Any <coughs> grand, if you have a grandfather or a, you know, so it could be a grandson or a granddaughter or a great granddaughter, if they come into the Legion and get a form for bursary, if they're going to university or college, that is there. And then we help per, uh, the Reed O'Perley Hospital and leave the streets behind and um, the homeless vets and you know, that's just some of the things we do. And then this Friday, we will be starting our campaign for our p pinning our poppies on. At 9 Friday morning, Helen will be pinning the first poppy on Mayor Panko. Okay. And then they will be ready to distribute them in all the stores. So maybe if we could just make people watching right now aware, uh, we are taping this show on October 25th. You've asked people not to wear their poppy until October 28th. Mm -hmm. Right. No, so people are going to see this after the 28th, but we're just not wearing it right now because it is October 25th. Yeah, because the Governor General gets hers first, and we're not supposed to wear them until she gets hers. Okay, okay. And, and people mindful too, it goes on your left side, over mm -hmm. your heart. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. And you were saying how many crosses have gone out too. Your poppies are going to be, uh, you it, sold an amazing amount of poppies. Oh, unreal. Yeah, yeah. Again, Smith Falls. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just overwhelming, the, the generosity. That's right, that's right. So, and, and uh, Remembrance Day this year is on a Friday, November 11th, so mm -hmm. be mindful of that. And uh, if, if you can't attend a service, like at 11 o'clock, just take a few moments and have a moment yeah. of silence. Some of us can't get off work or get mm -hmm. away. Some people have to work and can't get there, but be mindful on November 11th. Mm -hmm. Take a few moments and remember. Yeah, and we have uh, <coughs> luncheon at the Legion after the ceremony, downstairs for the adults and upstairs for the children. And then we have the supper um, or the dinner at nighttime. And you know, the, the children too. It's amazing how many schools are, mm -hmm. are out and the, the scouts, the, the beavers, yeah. the, the guides, they come out and uh, it's just amazing how many children come out too. Also the air cadets participate yes. too. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean history, it, it, it's, it's a lot of history. We gotta mm -hmm. teach the children now. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. You've got a great program too uh, at, at the Legion too and it's a, 
a little competition. Poems, posters, and essays. That's it, yes. Yeah, I'm the chairperson for that, too. Did that just go by? Yeah, they, mm -hmm. they have till the 19th of November to get their poems, posters, and essays back to the Legion for judging. And that's all the schools in, in Smith Falls? Yes, I deliver the packages um, in September after they go back after summer vacation. I deliver the packages and they can start any time they want and they have till the 19th of November. To take them back to the Legion? Yes. That's mm -hmm. another program that is supported by the bursaries. Excellent, Mary excellent. The poppies. I mean the poppies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and that, that's a wonderful program too. It's like mm -hmm. we say, we got we to gotta teach the children the history. And, uh, yeah. you know, we have a remember. lot of good little artists that do we the do. posters. Like, and some of them are very good. Yeah. We had uh, a couple of children go all the way up to, uh, they passed, or one at Zit Zone and went on to district. That's right, yes. Mm. And that's it. it. It doesn't just stop here. If you're a winner, you move on and you move yes. on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you represent Smith Falls in a bigger area. Yeah. And then if you win district, you go to provincial. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. And that's been going on for quite a few years. Yeah. Yeah, I remember covering that a long time ago, and it is amazing. Some of the, the stories and the poems, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They, they put a lot of heart into it, and, mm -hmm. and, and they remember. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. But, so that is coming up. We've got Remembrance Day coming up. Lots going on at the Legion, too. I'm just going to read down a list, too. You've got darts going on again, and you've got uh, Chase the Aces started up again. I was there on, on Saturday for a birthday party, and I saw, the, uh, for Christy's birthday party, happy birthday, Christy, 40 years old. And uh, yeah, so Catch the Aces started again. I think there's only a few cards uh, revealed so far, but mm -hmm. Fish and Chips, too. That's a big program that you've got going on there. Yeah, it's getting pretty good. Yeah, it, it, well, you guys make amazing fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's probably a well-oiled machine you've got back in the kitchen cooking all that. Yeah, they have their groups that come in every, every other Friday, and, and I'm not involved personally with it. I had to give it up uh, this year, but... Um, they do a good job of it. Yes, they do. They do. So yeah, again, we got darts starting up, bingo starting up again. That's mm -hmm. that's big. That's uh, very popular. And the jackpot is getting up there, so the crowds are the tuny pot. At uh, the tuny pot, it's yeah. getting yeah, it's getting big again. Eh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And I mean, almost every weekend. Well, er, it is every weekend. There's something going on at the the, the Legion mm -hmm. too. So watch the bulletin for the Legion. There's lots of craft shows now that Christmas is coming up. So uh, always something going on. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But the lunches, once again, maybe you can tell the folks when they are. And They're Monday. Um, the pickup time is 11.30 to 12.30, and it's every Monday except holiday Mondays. Okay. We don't get the frozen food um, that day because they're on holidays too, eh? So okay. we don't do the holidays. Now, if you want to receive a lunch, you don't go to the Legion. If you want to be a recipient, you have to go... Well, I'm not sure if they're still registering or not. I mm -hmm. know people have come and um, they've told me to go ahead and give them a lunch um, and a frozen meal. So as long as we had some left. Right. But we have to make sure the people that are already registered on the list gets it first. Right. Right. Yeah. And to do that, you go to the Rideau Community Health Services. Well, we have a list. Every, oh, every list week too. we have a list of people that are registered. And we just go down the list and check off their name when they come and pick up their meal. Excellent, excellent. What's well, a wonderful thing you do? It's it's uh, like we say it's it's uh, a long day when you have a, a hungry belly, mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. Especially the children, especially yeah. the children too, for sure, for sure. But we well, enjoy doing it though. You do, eh? Yeah, yeah. You must. You keep mm -hmm. doing it, and uh, you know mm -hmm. people are so thankful of of these kind of programs too. So. We appreciate everything you do. So once again, I've got Helen Wilkinson and Jean Lazenby with me from the Smith Falls Ladies Auxiliary from the Legion. Thanks for joining us. President and doer of everything. You both are, my goodness. You're just so busy right now. So thank you for everything you do in oh, our community. Oh, it keeps us busy. Yeah, that's what right. Else, you know. Yeah, that's right. And you're doing good things for the community. So we appreciate that.